What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm be doing today is I'm gonna be doing a comparison between boiled and then grilled ribs and then just regular traditionally smoked barbecue ribs. The reason that I am doing this is, you know, I belong to a few of these barbecue forums and somebody posted uh, a picture of some ribs that they did and they happened to be ribs that they boiled then grilled and he was pretty much massacred for that. And a while back, probably three years ago, I did a boiled rib video and I thought they came out great. If you guys know James at Aim em and Claim em Smokers, he was actually in that video. He was actually at the very beginning of that video with a pretty funny interlude. Anyway, after watching my man get massacred on this barbecue site, I started thinking, you know, what would people, not necessarily myself, but the people I work with, which would they choose? We're gonna keep this a pretty basic cook. I'm gonna be just going salt and pepper on the ones that we're smoking. And on um, both of them, I'm going to be using some of this You Know You Want It Barbecue Sauce by L Rabbit's Barbecue. I'm gonna leave a link to where you can get some of this in iCard above, or not, not in iCard above, but in the description below. Uh, really like the consistency of this barbecue sauce. We'll get into that down the road. Anyway, as far as the boiled ribs go, we're gonna be boiling it with uh, just some random, uh, I think I have a barbecue rub that I had left over. We're gonna season the water with that. We're gonna get a little old school on it and uh, rock it with a little bit of old English as well. And we're gonna boil those for between 30 to 45 minutes until they are tender. Anyway, let's get working on these ribs. I have my grill getting set up. We're gonna be using my 26 inch Weber Kettle grill to knock out these ribs. So these are going to be the ribs that I'm actually going to go ahead and cook the traditional way. I'm going to leave one for my family. I'm going to take one in to work for the taste test. Like I said, our rub is going to be simple. And I think I mentioned salt and pepper earlier. I have a hint of garlic uh, powder in here as well. And we're just going to go ahead and get a nice coating on both sides. Now I'm not using any binder on this. These are going to have a chance to sit for about 45 minutes and have that uh, seasoning soak into it. I'm going to be running my grill today at about 300 degrees. We're going to be going a little bit hotter than typical on it. I'm getting kind of a late start. All right, guys, so that is a wrap right there. I'm going to go ahead and throw something on this and get it in the refrigerator for the next 30 minutes. Now let's get on to these boiled ribs and how we're going to be doing those. As far as these boiled ribs go, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some seasoning into the into this pot and I'm just using whatever I have left over. Like I just poured in the leftover salt, pepper, garlic from the ribs we just did and this is kind of a Memphis style homemade rub that I have left over. Just going to go ahead and throw that in as well. You could just use water but I only prefer to boil my ribs in the premium Old English 800 we got here. And I'm gonna be going about 50-50 water to uh, Old English. And what I'm gonna do once I get all this in, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to a boil just to kinda get those seasonings infused. And you know what, if I had some garlic or some uh, something like that, I'd go ahead and throw that in as well, but I just don't have any right now. Any garlic cloves. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this onto the stove and bring it to a boil. Uh, these ribs are gonna be cooked down the line. They're only gonna need to boil for, like I said, about 30, 45 minutes and then grilling them, you know, maybe an hour max, depending on what we're looking for. Anyway, we'll pick this up outside so let's go ahead and get these ribs on i'm out here at my 26 inch weber kettle grill and i'm telling you i am still surprised how much food this thing holds anyway we're gonna go ahead and throw them on and we're gonna be cooking these closer to like i said that 300 degree range it might be initially a bit hotter than that just because i've had this lid up uh and the flames have kind of caught on a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and regulate that temperature down the road so we've had those other ribs on the grill for about an hour. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these uh, ribs into the pot that we're gonna be boiling. And I'm just gonna let them sit here for a while. 
It does look like I need to add a little bit more liquid to it, so I'm gonna add another 50-50 ratio of Old English and water. And we're just gonna kinda of let this sit here for about another hour, hour and a half before we actually uh, start boiling them. So we are at about three hours in on these ribs. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier or not, but we have been running regular Kings for charcoal with some hickory wood chunks in there. My temperature has been anywhere between 315 to 320 degrees. Uh, these should only take a couple more hours, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on my ribs inside that we're going to boil. But I'm going to boil those for about 35-45 minutes. So these ribs just came out of the pot and I had these on a low simmer for about 45 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let these dry off. Then we're going to hit it with some olive oil and then some of that salt, pepper, garlic and it's going to be onto the grill after that. All right, let's go ahead and season up these ribs. They've had a chance to sit out for about five minutes. I'm just throwing some olive oil on here. Gonna hit it with that salt, pepper, garlic. And the ribs are just to the point where they're starting to pull away from the bones. All right, that's a done deal. Let's go check on the ribs that are out on the kettle right now. So here's what these ribs look like after being on for about four hours. Still look like they need a little bit longer to go. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these boiled ones on right now at the same time though. And I'm gonna check on these in about 30 minutes, see where we're at. I'm gonna speculate that these are gonna be ready to sauce at that point. These may not be. So these boiled ribs look like we're ready to apply the sauce to them. And like I said, the sauce that I'm using is El Rabbit's barbecue sauce. The thing I like about this barbecue sauce is this is a thinner barbecue sauce. So when you're applying this barbecue sauce, you're not going to have those streaks that you might get with a thicker barbecue sauce. Like a, maybe like a Sweet Baby Ray's might be a little too thick for me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. And I'm going to go ahead and... Should have cut that top a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and apply that sauce and then just brush it on. Now I'm going to let this set on this back side for about 20-25 minutes then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to get the other side. Guys, so this sauce is set enough for me right here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and sauce the other side And I'm gonna go ahead and sauce these two as well since we are losing a little bit of daylight All right, I'm gonna let these go for about another 25 minutes right here <clears throat> Let that sauce sit a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and flip them and get the other side of those So this sauce has had a chance to set for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over and get the other side all right, as for these other ribs over here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these directly over this flame for about three, four minutes just to get a little bit of that char flavor on it. I'm gonna let it go for, well, actually it's gonna be about four minutes. I'm gonna keep it on this side for two minutes, flip it, and then uh, do two more minutes, and I'm gonna move it back indirect. All right, let's go ahead and flip it. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and move that back over here. Get a little bit more sauce on the back. Brush that in. And I'm going to get the other side in about another 25 minutes. Now we are losing daylight, so I may not be showing all this. Like I said, next time you see me, I may be at work with these. And it looks like it's starting to rain. All right, guys, so we're here with the lovely Miranda. She's going to go ahead and take one rib off of each plate. She's grabbing rib number A right now. Now she's going to go ahead and grab one of B. Use my fingers. 
And all you gotta do, you don't even gotta eat the whole rib. She's over here acting like she's about to have a meal. I'm all hungry. She, and she's eating rib with a fork, so we're. I'm not sure how much weight we're gonna put on. <laughs> this her is hard. Uh, all right. Ready? So anyway. Rib A. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, get into it, girl. Bite into that thing. I'm not a messy eater, Lyle. All right. Ready? Rib B. Mmm. I gotta say, I like the sweetness of A, but the savory of B. I'm gonna have to go with B. Well, the funny thing about it is those things are seasoned exactly the same, but we will go ahead and mark Miranda down for a B. B. Appreciate it, Miranda. Let's get somebody else in here. Thanks, Lyle. All right, we are up here with Susie. She's already grabbed uh, one of the rib B. Go ahead and grab one of the rib A's. Now, I have some people over here acting like they're trying to, you know, get a little too uh, dainty with these ribs, and trust me, I've seen these guys when they're not on camera. They go all in, so... Anyway, just take a bite of each and let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take her <laughs> Trust me guys, she is not like this any other day of the week. On camera I am. Mm. I can already tell. Which one was that? Okay. It is perfect. So get to rib A now. <laughs> mm. That is perfect. That's just how I like it. Yes. Hey, if you call, they'll do it faster. I've got to contact you. That's my choice. All right, so we got one, another one for rib B. Mmm. Delicious. Right, so we're up here with Tim. He's already grabbing for rib A. Grab one from B. All you gotta do is get in it and tell us which one you like. So that was A. I would say it's close. They're both great. I can go with rib A. All right, there's one for rib A. All right, we are up here with Kimberly. Some of you guys might have seen her in my pastrami sandwich video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that video on the eye card above, description below. Run by there, take a look at that. All right, Kimberly, all you got to do is grab one rib off of each plate. So she's got rib A right now. She's going on rib B now. Kimberly's all into playing football and stuff like that, so she's not going to be going at it all dainty, dainty like the other two girls did. <laughs> all right. All right, so that's A. Mmm. I like that one. Kind of sweet. This one looks good, too. Mm, I think I like A better. They're both really good though. All right, so there's one for A. Yep, we are up here with Ryan. All right, Ryan, all you gotta do is take one off each plate, take a bite out of each one, and let me know what you think. So that's rib A. That is a tasty rib. <laughs> Rib B right there. They're both excellent. I'm gonna go with B though. Any particular reason? Just more of a sassy type of a flavor to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, that's one for B. So the results are in on the boiled ribs versus smoked ribs. Like I said, we were featuring El Rabbit's barbecue sauce in this video. I'm going to leave a link to where you can buy this stuff in the description. Go pick you up five or six bottles of this. Anyway, results were a little surprising. 
you guys saw a few people on camera so let's just kind of go back over what they chose so we had Miranda she chose the smoked ribs we have Susie and she chose the smoked ribs as well we have Tim that chose the boiled ribs we have one of our two Kimberleys chose the uh, boiled ribs and then we have Ryan that chose the smoked ribs now people that did it off camera we had the second Kim chose the uh, boiled ribs uh, Mark and this is the one that surprised me Mark is like kind of one of those you know weekend barbecue guys he can kind of throw down so it kind of surprised me that he chose the boiled ribs and then we had Don, she chose the smoked ribs. And then we had Kyle chose the uh, boiled ribs. So tallied all that up, we have five for the boiled ribs and four for the smoked ribs. So very interesting. The only thing I can speculate is that the boiled ribs were probably a little bit closer to that, you know, fall off the bone thing, which I think a lot of average people prefer that fall off the bone type rib as opposed to uh, you know something closer to kind of those competition type ribs not that these were competition ribs but very surprised by this because the seasoning was virtually the same on both of these even though you've heard people in the video mention that uh, one had was seasoned more than the other had different flavors so I don't know how to account for that anyway it's a nice experiment thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue I appreciate it comment subscribe I'm out